think I'm gonna make a planter box today. Uh, I got some IKEA slats from. Uh, have you ever seen the IKEA beds? They've got these support slats underneath the mattress or the box spring, however it works. I don't remember exactly, but these things basically span across and. Uh, Got a bunch of them from someone who was tossing them out. I thought they were pretty slick looking slats, so I'm gonna cut them in half and uh, put a 45 degree on the ends and uh, take about four of them and form a, a frame. And uh, once I get, um, let's see, how many frames am I gonna get out of this? I think I'm gonna get about six frames and then I'm gonna stack those on top of each other and uh, fasten them in, in the corners somehow to form a box and I'm gonna make a planter box out of it. And then for the base, I'm going to probably just cut uh, some of these slats I've got over here to span across the base. But uh, I've got my GoPro set up, so probably do a little time lapse and slap that all together. Hopefully we get a neat little uh, build here. So I'm going to just start, uh, I'm going to brad these together so that they're, uh, they hold their form and then I'll probably drive a, uh, like a construction screw through each corner to uh, make them more sturdy and then figure out um, what I'm going to do to uh, keep each layer um, together. I'll probably do like a, like a triangle piece of 45 in the corner and just brad it all the way up. Right, I got all these um, slats tacked together and uh, stacked up, so my pattern didn't work out. So it's alternating with the uh, holes there. I might end up driving the screws in through those holes. I think that'll look pretty good. We'll see. We'll see what I decide. Um, I think now I'm gonna uh, cut the bottom out. So I'm gonna just unstack these and. Um, fill in that bottom with uh, probably some slats. I'll, pr I'll probably have to rip them and then uh, for it to get the width. And uh, so yeah, I'll probably have to whip out my table saw and I'll get the bottom built and then I'll figure out uh, how to join all these uh, different layers together so that it's solid. Right, I got my bottom built. Uh, thankfully, four slats cut to length um, and spaced out worked out great. I mean, there's not a huge gap in there, so I'm not too worried about that. I'll probably line it with plastic anyway, but uh, these will be good to uh, help with the drainage of the water. I'll probably, you know, put some slices in the plastic right there. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead now and uh, stack these back up. These, um, like I was saying, I, these need to be braced uh, in the corners so that they'll all be, um, you know, joined together and I can actually create a f uh, stacked planter with them. So yeah, I'll just uh, go ahead and stack these back up and um, figure out that corner piece. Probably just take a, like a 2x4 and cut the corner off. I'll, I'll show you what I mean by that in a corner, uh, or in a second, excuse me. All right, let me give you an idea of what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to I'm going to rip these on my table saw. So I've got it set here uh, at an angle, a 45 degree angle to be exact. And I'm just going to run these down that so I get um some 13 inch uh, triangular pieces basically, and those are going to fit in the corners. And then I'll just tack it all the way down to hold the shape. If all goes well. All right, I got my four pieces 
I ripped them a bit here. Basically took a four by four in, or two by four and cut it into four uh, triangular pieces lengthwise. And uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set them in a corner like so. A little help from my brads once I start bradding them to hold them in place. Something like that. Then I'm gonna brad those in place. And um, I took uh, extra slat I had and I uh, cut a 45 at each end. I'm gonna put that underneath. Um, put two of those underneath as the uh, like the legs to keep it off the ground so the bottom won't rot off or rot out. Excuse me. So I'm gonna go ahead and slap all that together, brad all this up, and. Uh, Show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right, got everything uh, assembled pretty much. I'm just going to secure it now with some construction crews. I got a couple different lengths. I'll uh, probably do some two inches from the inside into these corners. And uh, what is my other ones here? Inch and a quarter. I'll probably drive an uh, inch and a quarter into each of these holes, um, joining those corners together nice and securely. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and uh, see how it looks when she's done. She look, should look pretty good with these um, construction screws. They're pretty, I mean, like kind of like a goldish brash color, <clears throat> brash brass color. So it should look pretty neat against the uh, wood there with the grain. All right, a bit of a change of scenery. I've uh, procrastinated on finishing this off. I still want to drive some uh, construction screws into these holes that were already in place on these slats and uh, these guys here. So like I was saying, I was saying earlier, these will look nice because they have this nice gold look. <clears throat> but I also cut some um, more slats because I wanted to give this uh, more support um, to be held together. So I'm gonna put those on as well. I'm just gonna I'm gonna screw those in um, those other ones are bratted this way They'll have a little bit more support. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and slap that together and uh, should, We should be wrapped up at that point <clears throat> All right, I've got the uh, Little extra supports in place here I think now I'm gonna flip this guy on the side and just go through and drive all these screws in. Well, there you have it. Wrapped her all up. Got the, uh, what do I got now? One, two, three, seven, eight sports now. Looks pretty good. I've got uh, construction screws on the inside here with uh, brads in the corners and I've got the um, sides all uh, screwed together. I got a few brads sticking up. I got a little sloppy but I'll just go through later and uh, snap those off uh, at another time but I'm gonna just give you a little side view and then call it a day. All right so we decided what we're gonna do with the box we built so I figured I would add that on to the end of the video here. Got her outside, uh, got her lined with plastic as I had mentioned. Um, I believe I was gonna, I believe I mentioned I was gonna line it with plastic, but beside the point, uh, we've got potatoes in there, little uh, small varieties like Peruvian and uh, things of that nature. So we're gonna wait for those to, um, to uh, sprout through the top of the soil there and then we're gonna uh, hill them or mound them and just keep the layers continuing up Till that gets filled up with uh, potatoes hopefully we'll uh, get a few out of it but we're gonna follow, do a follow-up video on uh, the potato grow so if you're interested keep an eye out for that <clears throat>